I just thought of a video idea. Get the golden slingshot without ever using the slingshot. Whap 300 balloons out of the sky only using your net. Jesus Christ. That's the worst idea I've ever had. So, in case you don't know, you can knock down balloons from the sky using your net from a high elevation, meaning that you don't technically need a regular slingshot to ever acquire the golden slingshot. What this also means is that I need to go around and whack 300 balloons from the sky using nothing but my net. I'm using the same island that I used for my video about getting 5 stars without ever purchasing anything, since I never used the slingshot on this island either, meaning that we're still starting from zero even if the island isn't brand new. I really don't want to start a new island for this challenge since it would take a lot of work to get to 3 stars and thus the ability to terraform from the beginning. But why do I need to terraform, you ask? Because the only way that I can conceive of this challenge being remotely possible within the next year is to terraform my island using a particular layout that allows balloons to effortlessly glide my way. What are all the jail bars for? Because there's a weird thing that balloons do where they don't fly over tall items like climbing walls and jail bars. Instead, they will begin to move south in an attempt to find a place to go around them. By leading them all the way down to the bottom of my island, I can have them glide into a range where I'm able to knock them out of the sky. The method took quite a long time to perfect. What? What? Bro, there's a gap here. Okay, just give it a second. Just give it a second. That's... After about three hours of messing around on stream, I found a reliable method that consistently allows me to pop balloons. Doing that 300 times should make it so that the golden slingshot has a chance to spawn, and I can knock it down as I have with the previous 300 balloons. Assuming I'm correct in the way that this will go down, I don't think that this challenge will be particularly challenging, rather just time consuming. Which is why I'm gonna keep a timer up on screen while I do this. Let's see how long it takes from balloon number one to the golden slingshot. Let's get started. Someone also had the brilliant idea of doing this during bunny day as more balloons spawn during that time since that's how you earn the sky eggs. Without this trick, this challenge would have taken a lot longer, so thanks to them. Only took around 25 minutes to hit the 20 balloon mark. This stamp serves as a nice indicator of how close I am to 300 balloons popped. As much as I would like to collect all these presents on the ground and see what my haul would be after 300 balloons, I <laughs> can't honestly be bothered to do so since this process is going to be tedious enough, so I'm just gonna let them sit there. Um, so apparently using your net on balloons uses durability, uh, okay, well, guess we'll buy more nets then. One hour and 34 minutes in, and we've hit 50 balloons. We're one-sixth of the way there, meaning that we'll have our 300th balloon around the nine hour mark-ish. Not one, not two, but three balloons. I don't think that these will line up properly to allow me to pop all three at once, but maybe I can at some point if this ever happens again. Nice. Yay, I've broken 20 tools total. Keep in mind that this isn't necessarily 20 nets since I've used this island a little bit previously, but it's definitely been quite a few nets that I've gone through at this point.
At 3 hours and 19 minutes, we've popped 100 balloons. We're one third of the way there, and the 9 hour mark is looking to be quite accurate. Only 6 more hours of standing here. 4 hours and 54 minutes, and we're halfway there. I'm logging off for tonight, as the sound of even another minute of this bunny day music or a balloon whooshing by would be enough to make me scream. So, we'll get back to it tomorrow. Ah, another beautiful day of popping bal- What? No! Get back here, no! Nice. Nine and a half hours in, and this is Balloon 300 approaching us now. Alright, and now this means that the Golden Slingshot should come at any point. It'll be carried on a Golden Balloon, so we should be able to tell it apart from the rest. And there it is. Come home to me. Oh, uh... Whoopsie! Maybe I should clean up a little bit first. So that little blunder cost me another three hours. It took another 20, I'm gonna guess, balloons to come by, but here comes another golden balloon, and I took care this time to make sure that there is a clear area to land. There we go, and let's learn the recipe, for posterity's sake. Unfortunately, I don't have a golden nugget to make the golden slingshot, and I... And I really don't want to have to hunt for another golden nugget. I'm just, I'm tired. I don't want to play this game ever again. Well, there you go. It is totally possible to get the golden slingshot without using a regular slingshot. And come to think of it, there's probably a few golden tools in the game where it's possible to get the golden variants without using the regular ones, but this is probably the one that's the most interesting. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it, and come follow me on Twitch, where I stream a lot of the trial and error process of figuring out how this challenge would work. I'll be giving previews and behind-the-scenes stuff over there often of future videos that I work on as well. Also, check out the plethora of other Absurd Animal Crossing New Horizons challenges that I've done with the playlist that you see here. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.